Hello and welcome to Java Deep Point. And today the topic of discussion is tree data structure. And we are going to starting searching a node in a BST. Our job is to find to search a node in BST. That is whether that node is existing. If existing, then what is the location of that node and what is the location of parent of that node? Fine. So let's start with the tree data structure. So we you have a BST here. This is the BST. You can see that all the element which are less than 15 are here and all the element which are greater than 15 are to the right of 15. Fine. Okay. So this is the BST and you need suppose you you need to check whether 12 is there or not. So what you will do? You will compare this 12 with 15. Is 12 is smaller than or greater than 12 is a smaller. You will come here. Okay. Now you compare this 12 with 10. Is 12 smaller than 10 or greater? Greater. You will come to the right. Now you compare 12 with this element and you found that 12 is equal to this element. Then location will be what? Then location. What will be the location? Let's see the, the address of this node is 300. So what will be the location? Location will be 300. Fine. Okay. And what will be the parent? Okay. The parent of 12 is what? Parent of 10. Suppose the address of this is 100. So parent, the parent address is 100 fine so these are two things that you will return your your job is to search that whether the element is existing if existing then what will what is the location of that uh, node and what will what is the location of that parent fine okay let me take one more example for you and let me take one more example and the more ex uh, next example is suppose you want to search a node which is not existing suppose you want to search a node which is not existing suppose you want to search whether 13 is there in in this uh, BST. So what you will do? You will start comparing 13 with 15. 13, you compared 13 with 15 and you found that 13 is smaller than 15. What you will do? 13 will come here. Fine. Okay. Now you compare 13 with 10. Is 13 smaller than or greater than? Greater than. Okay. Then 13 will come here. Fine. Now you compare 13 with 12. Is 12, 13 greater than or smaller than? It's greater than. Then you will come here. And what is here? Here it's nothing it's null over here because the right child of 12 is null you can see 12 is a leaf node and 12 is not having any left child and right child so finally you will come here what finally you will find that it's null the moment you find null the, it shows that the moment you find null it shows that the element you are looking for is not in a tree so location is what location is what null the location is what null but pa is parent null no parent will not be null I know whether the th whether 13 is not here, but whenever 13 will come, 13 will only come to the right of 12. So the parent of parent location will always be there. So if I say about parent, then parent is, suppose this in, uh, node address is 300, then 300. So by watching this, what you understood, you understood that location is null. This means the element you are looking for is not in a tree, but yes, definitely there will be a parent. Definitely there will be a parent. Fine. Okay. Okay, so let's start with let's start with the algorithm. Okay, uh, we were searching a node in a binary search tree. Let's start with the algorithm. So this is the algorithm. Though it's looking very big, and let me tell you, my dear, it's one of the easiest algorithm you will ever see. So I am going to explain this algorithm in one of the easiest manner. So let's start with the algorithm. Okay, your task is your your function is find BST. Fine. Okay. You have given info. That is information. You have given left information. You have given right information. You have given information of root and you have given information of item to search. Now your job is to find location. Your job is to find parent. Okay. Now we start with three conditions. First condition. First condition says if location is null and parent is null, we'll indicate that tree is empty. And it's obvious. If I say this is a tree, if I say this is a tree, you are clearly watching there is no tree. And I'm saying what is the location of 15? There is no tree, boss. There is no tree. So what, what is the answer? Location is null and parent is null. Because there is no tree over here. So tree is empty. Fine. Okay. So let's start with second question. Second, uh, <clears throat> second condition. Second condition says if location is not null. If location is not null, this means that 100% element is there. Location is not null means element is there. But parent is null. What is this? Location. I just I told you that parent always remain. But what is this condition? Location is not null. Parent is null. It's very easy. Suppose you want to search 15. So if you want to search this 15, 15 is what? Root. And the parent of root is always null. You know, root is a node which do not have any parent. Fine. Okay. So location is 15. Suppose 
address of this node is 100. So location is what? 100. But now in this case, parent is what? Null. So if this condition comes, then you clear, you can clearly say the element you are searching for is in at the root. The element you are searching for is at the root. Fine. Okay. Now comes <clears throat> the third condition. Location is equal to null. Location is equal to null and parent is not null. And I have just told you prior to this. Location is null. This means the element you are searching for is not in a tree and parent is not null. This means there will be a parent. We will indicate that item is not in a tree but can be added t as a child of n with a location of parent. This is what I told you. If you are searching for, suppose I gave you example. You are searching for what? You are searching for 13. So 13, the location of 13 is null but parent is what? 12. And whenever that 13 will come, will acquire the parent, parent uh, will, will, be, will always be a child of what? 12. Fine. Okay. So uh, on the basis of these three conditions I'll, I'm starting my algorithm okay so I'm starting my algorithm tree empty in case the tree is empty that is if root is null means if I talk about this tree what is what is the root of this tree I'm talking about the root what is the <coughs> there's no root if root is null yes then location is null and parent is null this is the first condition if root is null then simply write the location is null and parent is null <coughs> because there is no tree because if there is only one element then that, that should be a root. And if there is no element, then this means that root is null. Fine. Okay. Now comes second condition. Item at root. If item is equal to info root, the item you are looking for is at root. Then what? Location is equal to root and parent is equal to null. This is the second condition what I told you. Now comes the third condition. That is element you are looking for is either there in the tree or not in the tree. So let's start. Let's start with the item. And suppose my item is what? 12. Okay, so suppose my item is 12. So what am I doing is that initializing two pointers, PTR and say, fine, let's see. Item, my item is what? My item is 12. My item, the item I'm looking for is item is 12. Okay, item is less than info root? Yes, info root is 15 and item I'm looking for is what? Is less than. Okay, then what? Set PTR is equal to left of root. So PTR came over here, left of root and what? save is equal to root there are two pointers now save and ptr so save is pointing to the root node now and ptr pointing to the left of root. fine okay okay this is the third step which i did now fourth step says repeat step five and six while ptr is not null okay let's start then is pointer not null pointer is at tenth node and suppose the address of this node is 100. Yes, definitely. Pointer is not null. Fine. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll check. Is item is equal to info root? The item you are looking for, you are looking for 12. Is equal to info PTR. Info PTR is 10. No, 12 is not equal to 10. So I'll not execute this then statement. I'll see the sixth statement. If item you are looking for is less than info PTR, 10 is not less than info PTR. 10 is greater than info PTR. Okay. So then what I'll do, I'll execute this statement set save is equal to ptr so what i'll do i'll call save and say save come here come to ptr so save and ptr are now pointing to same node 10 and what am i doing next is that ptr is equal to right of ptr so ptr comes to the right of ptr so ptr comes over here fine okay again this is the sixth step i'll not I'll not leave this as sixth step because fourth step is telling me to repeat five and six until PTR is not null. Is PTR not null? Yes. PTR is pointing to node number 12 and suppose the address of node 12 is 200. Fine. Yes, it's not null. Okay. Is item is equal to info PTR? Yes. Item is equal to info PTR. Item I'm looking with 12 and info PTR is 12. Fine. So what I'll do? I'll set location is equal to PTR. So my, now my location is PTR. So location is PTR is what? 200. Location is what 200 and say parent is equal to save and parent what parents comes parent is save. So what is save now? So if save is 100 fine. So these are two information and this is accurate information. Fine. Okay. Okay, let me explain you the next part then. Okay, suppose I'm searching an element which is what, which is, which is, which is, which is, which is 13, 13. So let me explain you 13 also. That is item I'm looking for is 13. Okay, if you still confused, then I'm, I'll explain you again. Item, I'm item looking for is 13. Let me see that I, is 13 there or not. Okay, so initialize pointer PTR and save. Okay, item is less than info root. Yes, item, this is root. 
this is root and information of root is 15 and 15 is less than 13 yes 15 then what set ptr is equal to left of root then ptr came here left of root fine okay and save is equal to root and save came to the root fine okay okay then i follow the fourth step fourth step is saying repeat step 5 and 6 while ptr is not null is ptr not null yes ptr is having address of this node suppose the address of this node is 100 yes ptr is not null okay then i check item i'm looking for is equal to info ptr item i'm looking for is 13 and info ptr information of ptr is 10 no it's not equal then i'll not execute this okay i'll not execute this fine so i'll not execute i'll not execute i'll go to the step 6 i check is item i'm looking for is less than info ptr item I'm looking for 13 is not less than so I'll go to the else statement and then what I'll do save is equal to PTR save comes here so what save is actually doing is before PTR moves same come save come to the PTR location and PTR goes to the right of PTR and PTR comes here PTR comes to the right fine okay so save is now change this is the root okay fine okay Will I come out of the loop? No. Fourth step is saying not to come out of the loop until PTR is not null. Is PTR not null? Yes, PTR is not null. Suppose the address of PTR is 200. Yes, PTR is not null. Okay. Item found. Is item, the item you are looking is 13, is equal to info PTR. Info PTR is 12. No, it's not equal. Then I'll not execute this statement. I'll come to the sixth statement. Is item you are looking for is less than info PTR. Item I'm looking for is 13 and 13 is not less than 12. Then I'll go to the else part. Then save is equal to PTR. Then what will happen? Save will come here. Save will come to the position of PTR. Save will come here and PTR will go right of PTR. And what is right of PTR is null. So what PTR will go, PTR will have null now. PTR will come here and this part is what null. So PTR will have what? PTR will have null. Fine. So finally PTR will have null. So will I go out? No. First I'll go and do the fourth step. Fourth step is saying repeat 5 and 6 while PTR is not null. Now PTR is null. Condition false. I came out and I execute seventh step. Search and successful. Yes. Right. Location is equal to null. So what is location? location is null location is null obvious and parent is equal to save and what is save save contain the address of this 12 node and the address is 200 then save is equal to what then parent is save so parent is save what parent will have save and what is there in save 200 fine so this is all algorithm is all about okay so at last what i'll say thank you so much for watching java t point please like subscribe and share the channel thank you thank you so much